Hey guys, what is going on? Um, happy Valentine's Day, President's Day week. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've lost track of all the holidays so far. Um, yesterday was Friday the 13th. So, I uh, wanted to make a commentary yesterday, but I got sucked up in all the advanced warfare. So, he got kind of distracted, and by the time I realized it, it was already past midnight. So, sorry about that. Um, if you're expecting anything funny for Friday the 13th, um, no, you're just getting more deadly premonition. But, anyways, um... Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick, a quick, you know, chat, you know, this is just after I realized it was past 12 o'clock, and I was playing all night, I was like, ah, damn it, well, I'm in a talking mood right now, so, you no, know, that's why I'm recording this, but, um, you know, I wanted to address something, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, I'm, I know you guys like my commentaries better, you know, you always like them better than my Let's Plays, and I full-heartedly agree with you guys, you know, things get busy, you know, I'm busy now, you know, everyone's busy, and you don't have time to be sitting through a 20-minute video, you know, of me playing this obscure game that you don't even know about, or this game that you might not like, you know. But, you know, I kind of think Call of Duty and all those games are just really relatable, and, you know, everyone knows about it, so, you know, they know what to expect when they watch it, so, you know, that's what, that's my opinion. That's why I think you guys watch Call of Duty, but, you know, I haven't been uploading, you know, keeping up to date with Call of Duty, and, you know, I guess maybe some of you guys might be wondering why. It's just... I don't like Advanced Warfare, you know, it's not because of the game's mechanics, and I, they're, they're fine, you know, I played Halo 2 back in the day, it was a great game, this, you know, reminds me of, you know, the whole boosting, and, you know, the super jumping, and all that stuff, kind of, you know, in a way, it kind of does, and, you know, I got to try Titanfall once, and, you know, this feels a lot like Titanfall, you know, it's not the game mechanics that I don't like, it's skill-based matchmaking, and oh, big surprise. Um, a lot of YouTubers and a lot of other people really hate that system, and I agree with them. It's really bad. Um, I did some research on it. Apparently, um, it was in, like, Modern Warfare 3. Um, I didn't notice it. Maybe it's because I just wasn't, you know, tryharding that much back in that game. It was in Black Ops 2. I, rec I know that more because, you know, my KD was really low in the beginning. It was like... I was like at a 1.5 for like the longest time, and I just recently got back up to a 2.0, you know, over the last summer. I think I bumped it back up to a 2.0. But, you know, they removed skill-based matchmaking, so that might be the reason why. So, you know, we have, we have a history of people not liking skill-based matchmaking because, you know, my point is, is that, you know, the first day, you know, the first game, the first time I played Advanced Warfare, I was stuck with a bunch of tryhards. You know, that was my first game of Advanced Warfare, you know, lots of lag on PlayStation 4 and lots of tryhards. And that wasn't fun, and, you know, as I kept playing and trying to compete and be, you know, play the objective all the time, you know, get a lot of kills, do that, you know, the higher my KD got, the more difficult it got, and, you know, it got to a point where I was constantly being put with tryhards, and, you know, that's the biggest complaint from everyone that's against skill-based matchmaking, is that you don't constantly want to be playing tryhards, and people that are bad don't constantly want to be playing bad people, you know, it's, I mean, just look at this gameplay, these guys are horribly bad, you know, it's, uh, it's just really bad, you know, I, I'm, I made a second account, or a third account, you know, it's my third account now, um, and, you know, I just kind of wanted to do this, you know, this is for me, you know, I was testing out to see, you know, how strong skill-based matchmaking is, and it's so strong, you know, it took me forever to find a game, it took me like five minutes, you know, after I made this new account to find a game, it took me five minutes, you know, I switched between TDM, Domination, it just couldn't find me a game because, you know, I was at zero KD, zero score per minute, you know, it was just, wasn't pairing me up with anyone, and the first game I got, you know, this is the one I'm showing right now is a game of domination, it's like the third or fourth game, I don't know, one of those, but the first game I played, I think it was Infected or something like that, these guys were, uh split screeners everywhere, you know, guys missing, firing every, it was, it was a mess, and I've never seen players like this, you know, I've never in my, you know, I was pretty newbie, you know, when I first played Call of Duty, and I know people that don't play Call of Duty a lot, but we at least know how to aim down the sight, these guys were just... Ooh, horrible, and, you know, now I understand how people can, you know, when skill-based matchmaking was a part of, like, Black Ops 2 and all that stuff, now I know how people were able to get, you know, super good gameplays, because you're playing people like this all the time, you know, reverse boosting's been around for a while, and, you know, while I'm on the topic of reverse boosting, you guys might be wondering, hey, why are you shooting in the air, or why are you trying not to kill people, you know, that goes, that's, that goes back to that commentary I released, you know, a little while ago when I was hinting that I was... You know, I came up with like I came up with this awesome way to to find easy games and blah blah blah. You know, and it wasn't reverse boosting, guys. You know, it's it's not reverse boosting. It's not. You know, part of the update that went through. You know, Michael Condry or you know, active not Activision, but Sledgehammer Games saying they're gonna bring down the ban hammer on people that are you know reverse boosting. You know, killing yourself like a hundred times to lower your KD. 
and I'm just showing you that you don't have to do that, you know? In my, in my way, you know, okay, if I really want to lower my KD like I'm doing here, guys, you know, this little experiment I'm doing, if I really wanted to lower my KD, I'm not going to blow myself up. You know, that's instantly giving yourself away as, you know, a reverse booster. No, you know, I like to blend in, you know, trying to uh, draw the attention away from my teammates by uh, distracting, by shooting my gun and capping points. You know, that's what I meant when I said, you know, being super objective and being a super pacifist. You know what I meant back, you know, a week ago or something when I made that commentary? That's what I meant, you know. And, you know, I've seen people reverse boost, you know, ever since Black Ops 2. I've seen people get out the smog, get out the RPG, blow up the floor beneath, floor beneath them. And before back then, I was like, what, what's the, what the fuck are you doing? And, you know, as soon as I was like, oh, he's reverse boosting because of matchmaking, you know, it all made sense then. So, you know, I've... I've never done. I've never like done reverse boosting. I've never boosted. I've I've seen tons of people do it. You know, in that what was it? Black Ops Two, that one with the trains and whatnot going through. I see people camping in a little elevator. You know, killing themselves over and over and doing the tack inserts. And I've seen it. I've seen it everywhere. You know, I've seen it. I've been there. I've done it. I've seen wall hacks. I've seen all of it. You know, it's, and I don't like it. So you know, I, I half agree, half disagree. You know, with the skill based matchmaking in advanced warfare. I'm just letting you guys know why I'm not recording advanced warfare is because the skill based matchmaking I don't like being paired with tryhards and you know when I do this stuff you know play super objectively and be uh, extreme pacifist you know not killing anyone and you know playing with these horribly uh, <laughs> iffy players you know it's just you don't it's like two extremes of a coin you know you either play super tryhards or you play super bad guys that don't know the top of their controller from the bottom and it's just I don't like extremes like that, you know, without skill-based matchmaking, you know, it matches you apparently, you know, I've, I've read the tweets and all that stuff from Michael Condry, he says that linking you with people that have good connections is uh, right up there with matching you with people that have your same score per minute, your same K, you know, kill-death ratio, but, you know, I'm, I, I got paired with guys from Australia to France to Brazil to the UK, you know, nothing against these people, but I... What, what, what sounds better, you know, getting paired with a guy, you know, I live in, I live near San Francisco, so why, would I rather be paired with a guy or a group of guys from LA or all the way across the ocean, you know, in Germany, you know, what would I, what would I want more, would I want to have my connection go halfway across the world or, you know, have them on our servers, you know, it's just, it's just a mess and, you know, it messes with all our connections, you know, it makes it really laggy, I've had a lot of experience here, you know, my buddy, friend, guy, YouTube dude, PSN guy, genuous or hectic, you know, he could tell you all about that, you know, we got mixed with all these foreign people, and we were just two barring and one barring all day long that one day, I can't remember what it was, I think it was in November or something like that, we were playing Search, Search and Destroy, and we got paired with these French dudes one time, <laughs> and aside from not knowing what they were saying, and I was getting frustrated at each other, you know, we, it, the connection was just really bad, and it's just that you have to deal with, so, you know, I'm really on the fence, you know, I'm against people reverse boosting, you know, to just pub stomp on innocent guys, you know, trying to have a good time, you know, they're bad, but, you know, it doesn't mean you should take advantage of them and just get really good gameplay by getting all your buddies in, and, you know, have one dude who has a really, like, a 0.01 KD, and everyone else has, like, 4.0s, 3.0s, and just pub stopping these guys relentlessly, you know, I'm, I'm against that, you know, we all, equ you know, we equally deserve to have a fun time playing this game, but, you know, Skill-based matchmaking, you know, it's just an issue. I don't constantly want to be playing with guys that are, you know, just at my, at my level, you know. It's just, I like it when we have a blend, you know, where finding that super god lobby of noobs, you know, is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and it's like, oh my god, this is the dream lobby, you know. It just, it, it adds, you know, a bit of fairness, because, like, okay, it's no one's fault that, you know, all you noobs got paired against us, you know, we're a full party, you guys were just randoms, you know, it makes sense. This is just manipulating the system, and... You know, that's why I'm doing this, guys. I'm not reverse boosting, you know. In his own words, he, he's, Michael Condry said that. Oh, let's see if I can find it. Um, here we go. Nope, that's not it. Um, nope, that's about trick shotting. But basically, he says that, you know, in his words, he says that it degrades your team's ability to compete. And, you know, I'm obviously not doing that, you know, by the end of the game, I had that domination match, I had I had two caps, you know, I just killed two guys by, killed one or two guys by accident, you know, but, you know, this just goes back to, you know, just looking at this, it's just horrible that, you know, all these players are just so bad, and that one person can sneak in, you know, just take advantage of all these guys and just wreck them and get, you know, triple DNA bomb if they wanted to, or if they had a full party and only the party leader had a bad KD, it's just, 
these extremes is is why I don't play Advanced Warfare. You know, you can't have an even spread of you know good players and bad players, and you know keeping it even. You either get one or the other, and I just don't like that. You know, I like variety, and you know that's why I have so much fun playing Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 and Ghosts. You know, they took out skill based matchmaking. None of them have it, and you know I just have fun playing my friends. And you know if we get a try hard lobby, that's like one out of like ten, and you know we have fun doing it every once in a while, but. Just not all the time. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end it right there. I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, my side of the story, why I don't play it anymore, and, you know, my thoughts on it. You know, should it be removed or should it not be removed? You know, in my opinion, it should be, you know, I read somewhere, I can't remember if it was Reddit or something like that, but it's like, they did a tally, and it's like 85% of the community does not like skill-based matchmaking. Um, there's a petition, you know, it's over like two or 3,000 people have already signed a petition for, at, for like, sledgehammers to remove skill-based matchmaking. You know, it's just, people don't, like it and you know like i said you know they're trying to ban people that are reverse boosting but you know that goes back you know he's they're dodging the subject the whole reason we're do they're doing that is because of skill based matchmaking and if they took that out you know then there would be no need for reverse boosting so but anyways guys just i guess leave your your thoughts down below you know what do you think of skill based matchmaking do you think it should stay do you think it should leave or or I don't know, maybe find some sweet spot in the middle. I mean, if you can think of one. But anyways, guys, thanks again, like always, for dropping by. Um, yeah, I guess um, if you want to friend this account, um, I don't know. I, this is just an experimental account. Um, I saw my Bonsai Boy, my Katana account. I just made this one. You know, I had to stick with the whole cultural roots. I named it Sushi Sammy. I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I made this account. But, you know, I just thought, why not? Why not try out the skill-based matchmaking? And I'm not wor working, like, you know get around the system. I'm just doing it, you know, to try it out. And, you know, skill-based matchmaking is really, really strong in this game. And, you know, if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to lower your KD, then what you're watching now is what you would get. Just a bunch of noobs. But anyways, guys, thanks again, like always, for dropping by. Thanks again for watching. Um, I'll try and get some more Advanced Warfare gameplay. But just keep in mind, if you see Sushi Sammy, that's not some other dude. That's me on another account. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for dropping by. You know, it means a lot. And, you know, I just want to appreciate... You know, I appreciate you guys, you know, watch my stuff and things like that. And if you guys comment, that just makes it all the better. But like always, guys, you know, have an awesome day. Enjoy um, your President's Day weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next video.